Good day to everyone. So, I hope by now you know how to find the area under the curve. For this lecture, we are going to talk about how to find the area between two curves. Alright, so we are given two curves. So, as an illustration, I'm going to draw two curves here. Okay, let us name the first one y equals f of x and the second one y equals g of x. Okay, customarily, how do we find for the area ano, sa region na ito? Unang-una, first and foremost, kapag given tayo ng dalawang equations na yan, dalawang functions na yan, we need to solve for the area, I mean the points of intersection. In this case, these are the points of intersection. Ito, tsaka ito. So, how do we find for the points of intersection? Kapag given ka ng dalawang equations, you need to solve the two equations simultaneously. Parang yung ginagawa natin noon sa ang 10, dalawang equations ang given, we need to solve for x and y. Okay? So, yun yung unang step. Ano, that is the first step in solving for the area. Itong mga ano natin, points of intersection, these points will be used for the lower limit and the upper limit of our definite integral later on. So, in this case, let us have an arbitrary point. Dito sa lower ano, point of intersection, we have point A, C. And for the upper point, we have B, B, D. Okay? Now, Susunod, after calculating for the points of intersection, we need to draw a rectangular element. Parang yung ginawa din natin noon, ano, dun sa, uh, dun sa area under the curve. Okay? So, meron tayong rectangular element. Okay? So, itong rectangular element na to, yan yung i-analyze natin. Iwawalis na lang natin after natin makuha yung ano yung mga dimensions niya. Okay. So in this case, itong width ng ito muna ng width, okay? Itong width ng re rectangle natin, gusto natin right na paliitin 'yan, okay? So since uh, this width is uh, along the x, tawagin natin itong dx. Okay? So the width of the rectangle is dx. Kasi maliliit, di ba, na, na delta x, so dx. Okay, itong height, oh, meron na tayong dalawang y. Di ba, noon doon sa previous discussion natin, isang y, kaya naging y dx lamang. Dito, dalawa na yung y natin. The first y is ito. Ito ngayon. Tawagin natin itong y upper. Okay, at dito naman, this is y lower. Okay? So, to find for the area, I mean for the height, okay? Ito, itong height ng rectangle na to. To find for this height, we need to subtract, ano? y upper minus y lower. Okay? So, yan yung height ngayon ng rectangle natin, rectangular element natin. So, what is the area of the rectangle? The area, the differential area, okay, so tawagin natin, the differential area of the rectangle now is equal to the length or the height times the width. So the, the height is y upper minus y lower and the width is dx. Okay, this is the differential area. Alright, so our variable of integration in this case is x. Okay, so, kailangan natin, uh, we need to substitute itong y upper and y lower. We need to write this in terms of x. And how do we do that? By substituting ano, itong uh, dalawang functions natin na given. Ano ba yung mas mataas na function? Itong mas mataas na function ay f, f of x. Itong mas mababang function is g of x. So, we can actually write this as... So, pwede natin isulat to as f of x 
minus g of x dx. Now, itong rectangular element natin, kailangan natin iwalis ano, from this point up to this point. Okay? So, what is x dito? x is equal to a and dito x equals b. So, kailangan natin iwalis itong rectangular element na ito from a to b. So, kapag na-integrate na natin yan, nan, yan na yung total area between the two curves. Okay? Another method or another way to solve the area between two curves is to create a rectangular element that is parallel to the x-axis. Yung nakahiga naman yung x-axis. Okay, I will try to uh, I will try to explain sa susunod na video kung paano naman yung horizontal na rectangular element. Okay.